ensure reproductive justice for all women in Ireland. We understand that migrants and asylum seekers and other marginalized people are disproportionately affected by Ireland's outrageously restrictive abortion laws and thus more likely to seek assistance from rogue agencies like this one. It's no coincidence that the two biggest cases in the fight over abortion access in recent memory have been about women of color. Ms. Y, an asylum seeker, raped in her country of origin, denied an abortion despite being suicidal, forcibly rehydrated until a C-section could be performed, and Savita Halapanavar, a migrant woman, who died in a Galway hospital after being denied an abortion if that would have saved her life. Let's not ignore the role that racism played in these two cases on both the state and individual level. The 13th Amendment to the Irish Constitution gives abortion seekers the right to travel to obtain an abortion, but that does not help many migrants, documented or not, or people living in direct provision who do not have freedom of movement. Denied access to basic health care in Ireland and denied the right to travel, migrants are forced in desperation to turn to rogue agencies like this one for information. These agencies target the most vulnerable people without access to accurate information, people with varying levels of English literacy, and people on their own without a support system, giving them dangerous and medically inaccurate information, giving them lies. marginalized abortion seekers often turn to clandestine abortion providers, including rogue abortion pill providers online, who charge exorbitant fees for pills that are often unsafe or don't work, risking a 14-year prison sentence. Just to say, if you need access to safe pills, to real pills, contact Need Abortion Ireland. For migrants and asylum seekers, that means they also face possible deportation. Just to be clear, Medical abortion or abortion with pills is extremely safe, although still illegal in Ireland. If you can get them from a reputable source like womenhealth.org, Need Abortion Ireland. But often women in marginalized communities don't have access to this information and turn to the first thing they can find out of desperation. So yes, let's fight to repeal the eight. Let's fight for free, safe, and legal abortion in Ireland.